Hello YouTube and welcome to my 100 subscriber special Q&A. So, let me get the questions for today. And I actually got a lot more than I expected. So, anyway, thanks for the 100 subs guys before we get started. And now we are going to move on to the questions. Oh, I can't wait. The first question was from Oliver Bridges. Do you have a favourite video? No, I don't. But I don't have like favorite videos. I just have liked videos, videos I like, and etc. Anyway, do you have mod? Can you play it? Question by Jack Frosty. Yes, I do. Moving on. Another question by Jack Frosty. Do you put sugar in your tea? Now, I was there ripping my eyes out because that is kind of expensive, but oh well. No, it's fine without. Now, I have a load of questions from Joshua, so let's get into them. Would you ever make a video game? And if so, oh, what would it be like? Uh, if I made a video game, it would be about has to be something about justice and like some guy who's lost his like family and he's out for justice and stuff and it would be very dark, very depressing, very fun, not very scary but uh, I also think it would, might, it would be uh, it, like watchdogs just maybe with uh, a lot more stuff to do. Uh, who is my best AC character? My favourite AC character, in my opinion, is Ezio. And moving on, that's, that one's an obvious one. My favourite TV show is, most of you guys will never have heard of it, but it's called Arrow. And it's about the Green Arrow, you know, from DC. It's no it's not one of them. It's a really good Favourite movie. Now, I don't really have much as a favourite movie, I have a favourite TV show, uh, movie, ah, I must have The Dark Knight, so well done, but they, have, they couldn't choose a better Joker, in my opinion, he was, he was, he was, he was, he was, was the best Joker ever to be in a film, and he did it so well. It's a shame that he passed away, um, shortly after filming it. <coughs> Console or PC? Why? I'm gonna say both. I mean, in the end, because, in the end of the day, PCs, Playstations, and Xboxes, they all serve the same, like, ultimate being, like, father, if you want that, that, and that's gaming. And, may gaming's reign be long. Uh, my favourite game for me is obviously Ubisoft, um, <clears throat> which is because Ubisoft made a lot of games that I enjoyed, like Assassin's Creed, Watch Dogs, stuff like that. They're very fun games. Um, now, so yeah, Ubisoft make quite a lot of fun games, but also they make Call of War as well. <laughs> but the second is the best as well. My favourite game character is, like I said before, um, in Best Station Game. Ezio Auditore Dacchiano. Because his humour was just immense. And worth. worth what? I mean, it was worth his um, rating. A good character. He did it so well, but I suppose he's just uh, deserves to be a well-known character, really. Anyway, we're going to move on to our next question, which is from Joshua again. Favorite game genre? Why? 
I uh, like a good action slash adventure RPG style thing. I like fantasy too, which is like Skyrim. Action adventure and RPGs, I love which. And I also like fantasy games. That those not Final Fantasy. That's ter that's terrible in my opinion. I'm not even gonna say it's terrible. I'll say it's um, it's just not my game. Skyrim, however, that that's a good one. And Oblivion, both very good RPGs in a fantasy universe. And <coughs> they're very, 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 very good games. So that's kind of swayed my time towards RPGs and fantasy games. But action and adventure is also very good. Um, and another one from Joshua, the last one from Joshua is, most an what is the most anticipated video game in your, that you, what, well, what video game in your anticipated about, I'll talk about that too. And I'm going to say Watch Dogs. If any of you seen the story trailer for that beast, it is, pro it is good, it's, it's good. Don't say it's not, because it is good. <clears throat> really good. But anyway, so we're gonna move on to a question by Exner Firesu, also known as Daniel Jackson. He has asked two questions. First one of why you know like Dark Souls. First of all, it's ragey as hell. And it's extremely difficult. And the people who made it made it with the purpose of annoying people and making them get their money back for gaming. I think the game was made to put people off gaming. So I don't like it. Because I think it was made to make people's gaming fantasies ruined. But I found out a multiplayer after they made that gameplay. I was like, oh I like Dark Souls again. And then it turned out that multiplayer was unable to have you in an Xbox Live party at the same time. So I was like, I don't want Dark Souls anymore. <coughs> but anyway, we're going to move on to his next question. Are you going to get Dark Souls 2? The same guy. Now you answer that question for yourself, Sonny. Um, another question I got was, why do you dislike Dark Souls so much? By Brad Nicolis. And the answer is crazy. Like I said before. Why did you start your channel by Colby Patterson? Who, well, um, first of all, because, yeah, <coughs> I wanted to, I wanted to get into it, and I wanted to try something fun, something new, something worthwhile, and something that actually pays off, so I kind of became a YouTuber. Um, Oliver Bridges asked me another question, who's your favourite YouTuber? And I'm going to say... My favourite YouTuber is uh, I don't I don't really have a favourite YouTuber per se besides myself. I'm joking. I don't I don't think YouTuber it definitely wouldn't be myself. But uh, my favourite YouTube channel has got to be Game Society Pimps. Their Skyrim for Pimp series is hilarious, guys. You guys should check it out. Game Society Pimps, all one word. Um, that's got to be my favourite YouTuber. Well, YouTube channel, because there's more than one of them. Okay, another question by Oliver Bridges. What's your favourite movie at and game? My favourite movie has got to be... Like I said before, The Dark Knight, and my favourite game has got to be out of Assassin's Creed 2, Skyrim, and, well, I don't remember the other one, so it's out of Assassin's Creed 2 and Skyrim. Um, another question for Elvis, what's your favourite Assassin's Creed moment? My favourite moment in Assassin's Creed... Has, uh, has got to be 
when Ezio puts on his hood for the first time. In Assassin's Creed 2. Where he puts on the hood in his father's um, <coughs> office. And no, there's really no point in making gameplay on that because it's just a cutscene. Besides that, my other favourite moments include the um, <coughs> include the well, the that battle of Bunker Hill in the top of Creed 3, or while the mission before it, and like the battle of Creed, which was a very good one. And the, and the other one has got to be that mission where you're on the boats in the top of Creed Revelations and you just burn stuff. That was fun. I think it was, I, and I really do did, did enjoy it. It was that fun. Also ended on a far high note, and I already made a video on that, and that's also the Battle of Creed uh, 3 as well. <laughs> yeah, I made a video on both of those. The, I'm sure I did it with um, Bunker Hill on the same video. And another one, my other one, was Xbox One on PS4, and why? Now, um, I haven't got either console, I've got an Xbox 360 uh, gaming PC. And I'm set really. I'm not really overly enthusiastic about next gen or this gen. I think it's gonna be well, I agree with some people that will be through a lot quicker than the this gen ones, this the last gen even. The last gen was just 360 PS3, that lasted for about eight years. This one, um, I agree with the the guy who told me that he thinks it would have last for about four years. And I believe that that's probably going to be about, just about right. <coughs> but anyway, so, but if I had to choose out of either of them, because I I don't like the PlayStation's control, I never have and never will, I'm going to say Xbox. Um, I'm going to move on to another question by Oliver Bridges. Thought, what, what are your thoughts? Google Plus. Now, here's my response to that question. I don't mind Google Plus. I mean, I've got into the swing of using it for my day-to-day -day business on the internet. I suppose that means it's all right. But I'm not overly fond of those others who work for Google Plus. Um, I think they but I like the roof of the new comment system that they implemented with the reply. That's alright. Um, another thing, another question I got by Willie. What made you start YouTube? Well, like I was saying before, um, I, I was really bored. I enjoyed watching YouTube videos. I made myself a YouTube account so I could comment on these videos. When I did that, I then in must have been in one of my lessons in school. I um, sat down and I thought something funny where the glue stick comes out. Well, with the glue stick where it like looks like that. Decided to make a video of that, but instead my hands come out my eyes. And I stayed in the channel app for a while. I decided to from there. I decided to so I decided that I would continue making videos and here I am 500 and something videos later still enjoying responses which I, I actually enjoy um, a question by my brother Epic Mr. Whoopers why do you do stupid voices? I do not know what I do with stupid voices. Maybe I enjoy them. I like the stupid voices. Ah! I like the stupid voices. Ah! I like the stupid voices. The stupid voices are fun. It's fun to do stupid voices. Especially for you to kill people at home. Anyway. <coughs> um, this question is from Oliver Hall. Uh, somebody who uh, sits next to me in maths at school. And his question is, do you like maths, Wink? 
And the answer is no. Uh, I mean, the answer is I don't like the subject very much. Since we got those booklet things. Oh well. But I I didn't like it anyway. Uh, but it can be tolerated. But the seating plan's all right, I suppose. I could be I could be sat next to our start sign at the start of the year. You know what's funny is he left in the text that got bigger. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm in limbo with that one. Um, John eats. Uh, ask me, what is your favourite game? Or would John would comment if you want to be referred to as John eats not Swiss gamer, please? Um, he asked me, what is your favourite game? I I said it's Assassin's Creed 2, because it's epic, but then there's Skyrim and there's Grand Bear 2, which is also epic, they both have very good feel, yeah. <clears throat> they both have like, something about them that makes me want to just go back and play them again, nostalgia for Assassin's Creed 2 because it's been out longer, and it's also it's just the feel of playing it. <clears throat> someone with the, well, what am I going to say, there's someone who's been driven like Ezio has, it's just, his story is so touching and so good, <laughs> that you just love the character from the start, well, not like that, but you love the character, but you love the character's personality because of who they are and what they do. Also, um, also the, um, Skyrim. I enjoy. I enjoy Skyrim because Skyrim. Ah, what was it about Skyrim? Okay. Everything is epic. The world is full of possibilities. You can become a douchebag. You can become. You can become a. Um, you can become anyone. You can have a douchebag character. You can be a murderer. You can be a thief. You can basically do everything in Skyrim, and I think that that was really cool. And. Um, they, they, it was, I actually enjoyed. I, that was probably one of them, my favourite games of all time. Definitely my favourite RPG. <coughs> Oblivion is um, as, just as good, in my opinion. They're both as good as each other, although the graphics might let it down a bit, but that's okay because it's an older game. But still, the, I don't judge games by graphics, so nostalgia for it's listening to my, what I'm saying. Oblivion is amazing. It's got everything you want. It's got like, it's the same as Skyrim basically in every way. Maybe it's set it's set in a different place. And it's got well, set in a different place in the same continent. And it's got different graphics and it's got stupid faces, which is also funny. <coughs> anyway, we're going to move on to our last question. How did you start YouTube? And I've answered that. It's through Satan. Uh, Satan is coming, the video I made, I started YouTube because I <clears throat> messed around with the glue stick in lesson. I'm sure I've answered this question several times. Uh, I al I'm also quite, I'm, I've also quite enjoyed uh, media. I'm sure I've been able to see like last year sometime. And I just love making the video just by editing every <coughs> dissecting it. Literally dissecting it, piecing it back together with a bit of music attached. I yeah. thought that was worthwhile. But anyway, those are my questions that I got for this QA. And so I'll be sure to be doing more QA's in the future guys. So stick around for those and also doing gameplay. Comment what I should twit play next. <laughs> Because, yeah, I can't wait to pl play something more than something better than Dark Souls. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys so much for, for the subscribers. It is just epic. I'm currently on 105, last time I checked, and this voiceover is dragging. I, uh, I also, um, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? What was I going to say? Oh yeah, um, special thanks to Clubly46, Joshua, all the judges, um, Kieran Mosley, Zane Burchard, um, Rogue Videos 2, um, 
Drell. Oh. Drell. Oh, Jack Frosty, Skyward. Uh, those guys, really. Uh, and everyone else for watching my videos. And especially the guys who left the like, and subscribe. Or, also, also, I'm going to be sound stupid when I say it. Also, thanks to the guys who gave me criticism. I actually found it quite helpful for the stuff I actually acted on what you said. Now, look at me. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for 100 subscribers. It's amazing to finally get here. Uh, yeah, I remember when all the bridges got here. That must have been ages ago, must have been. No, it was about a month ago. Maybe two months ago, actually. But still. Thank you guys for the subscribers. It means so much. Um, I hope you subscribe because I'm going to be making more videos and I hope to get to 200 subscribers quicker than I did to 100. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Leave a like, a comment. No hateful comments or flame walls. You know, the, the taste of Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Bye.